Hi, this is Tracy from Mindless Crafting, and today starts the first video in a long series, and it's called Color Therapy. Now, color therapy is just basically, it's therapeutic. It makes you, when I color, I know it feels good, and I know to many of you, it's very calming and soothing. So I wanted to start this uh, series just using what we have. It's going to be very short videos, um, maybe about 10 to 15 minutes. Who knows? Maybe even shorter than that. But I wanted to do something where y'all can just grab your pencils or like your colored pencils. Maybe you want to grab your markers, whether they're watercolor or alcohol markers. Um, I'm going to be using the Adaxi markers today uh, to color in my image. And I'm hoping that y'all enjoy this uh, ongoing series. So this is called Color Therapy Number One. And um, didn't want to have a fancy name. It's just, it is what it is, right? So we're going to just start by using this beautiful image from Hello Pumpkin. And I absolutely love this image. Um, this is our one of our new uh, stamps. And so um, this is what the set looks like. I'm just going to just scan it under here very quickly. Sorry about the glare. I got my lighting in here. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And we'll be doing lots of different images from some of our stamp sets. Many of you kind of wonder how, how would I color it in? And um, it's just to give you some ideas and maybe some inspiration. So you can either color along with me or you can just kind of watch. Okay, so this is the um, Adaxi Alcohol Markers. This is number 23 orange. And then I have another one that's called French Vermilion, number 22. So what I'm going to do is this is the darker uh, orange, or it looks really dark orange to me. So I'm just going with what looks pleasing to the eye. And I'm going to be coloring this area in here. Look how adorable this image is. And I'm just going to take my time and color right around the windows there. And I want to I zoomed in my camera so y'all can really see. And color around the door. I just know that when I was a kid, coloring just brought a sense of calmness um, for me. Just creating as a whole, but specifically coloring books. And so that's why I wanted to start this series also because I know many of you, for many of you, crafting is therapeutic. So don't worry about whether you go outside the lines. You know, just enjoy the process, which is what I usually say in all of my crafting videos. So if you're if you have this images image, that's fine. If you have um, another image you want to color along with, just go ahead and do it. Even if it's just taking 10 minutes or 15 minutes out of your day to enjoy some color therapy. You just know that when this is done, it's going to have some color on it, right? It's not going to look like what it looked like before. I really like the way these Adaxi colors, um, the way they work as far as, um, I've been using them for about, maybe about three years now, and um, I have no problems with them, and they're quite economical. Okay. All right, so that looks pretty good. You can see over here, I can just go in and just fill that in. And the nice thing is you can keep layering it, layering your color on if you want to keep going over it to make it a little bit deeper and more richer. But look how cute this is. And you can either choose to fussy cut your image, right? You could fussy cut just the leaves and maybe put some um, 
mounting tape underneath it to make it really pop. And for now, we're not going to think about the card. We're not going to think about um, what we're going to use this for. We, all we know is we stamped an image and we're going to color it. So if you even have a coloring book, they have a lot of adult coloring books. If you even have a coloring book, just use that and follow along. You may have a ton of stamped out images that you want to use. Um, you may have one of our uh, Mindless Crafting digital uh, stamps that you want to use as well. Okay, so with this darker marker, I'm going to go in on some of these other areas here. All right, so let's see. So I could take this and I can just go like right where the line is. I like doing that. And you could even keep the pumpkin white and just maybe draw a couple of lines on there. Right? And keep it white and then maybe do the windows. Something like that. I'm going to go right here with orange and right along here. So it's like a dimensional window. And inside I'm going to use yellow. So right around the door. I think the door I'm going to do brown, so we won't think about that yet. So these little pumpkins here, I'm going to color these darker than the other orange, right? And then on this one, a little bit of a darker orange on these two. Just put more color there and right around here. Here and here. And John, who are, who's our artist, when I told him to come up with a pumpkin house, sometimes I have no idea what he's going to come up with. I can sketch it out and then he'll just take the sketches and he'll run with it. And I think he did a fabulous job. Now I'm going to take the terracotta color, right? And I usually keep a little bit of a some scrap on the side just so I can kind of look at it. And I think I like that. So I'm going to do this for the door here. And the terracotta looks more like a light brown. like that so far. And I could always go back again and kind of neaten up some of my lines. Right under the leaves. You can shade it a little bit under the leaves, right? I hope the color is coming through on there. I never really notice until I go back and look at the video. And I am filming this at night. So hopefully, hopefully it's coming through, right? Okay, so now I'm going to take the yellow. And I'm going to go in the windows. And you can color your pumpkin house whatever color you want. You do not have to do the orange pumpkin color. <laughs> you can do whatever color you want on that. And right now my doggie is in here sniffing around. Let's see what else we got here. Now on top of here, I'm going to go right above here with the orange and outline the door. Just being calm about it, not trying to be perfect in my coloring. 
just trying to have a little bit of fun and create something where I don't have to do much thinking. Okay, so that terracotta, I think I'm going to use that on these little, yeah. So see how you can outline this? Now I could go and get a deeper brown color and I might go ahead and do that and outline the door. I can do these in green if I want. I think I'm just going to keep, keep it the way it is there. And let's do this on top of here in terracotta. And I do have a window open, so you might hear some cars go by. People are getting off work, right? And let's see, I need a deeper brown color. And this is called Burnt Sienna, so let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So that's... That's the terracotta and this is the burnt sienna. So I'm going to take that and go in deeper. Right around here. Now I'm just going to go over the lines here, right over the lines. And with this, I may end up, like once I'm ready to use it on a card, I may end up Stamping out another one of these, right? Cutting out the leaves on the other one. I might do that. And then end up um, placing the leaf, leaf on top of this to give it dimension. Or you could even do the windows. You can do the door. Cut out the door. Stamp out another image. Color it in. And then put the door over this door. So just another idea. And I think I'm going to use the yellow again to do the stairs. And let's get some green. I have pale green and then I have vivid green. So this one looks, looks darker. Probably doesn't look like that on camera, but it looks darker to me. So I'm gonna use this lighter green first. So let me know down below if you'd like me to do more of the color therapy. Um, some days I may end up using colored pencils. I may end up using crayons. Who knows, right? Look how adorable that leaf looks. Oh my goodness. So adorable. Okay, so then I'm going to take this green, which is the vivid green, and I'm going to just... And I just go right over my leaves. Just following the lines on my leaves, right? And sometimes I might take my gel pen and do some stitching on some of these images. Who knows, right? Stay tuned, right? So when I used to color as a kid, I would always trace around my images. It just made them look much more richer. And so now that I'm looking at this, I'm going to take that the deeper color orange, right? This fresh vermilion. <laughs> Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. 
and I'm going to just go around the outside here. And I am using a uh, 90 pound cardstock in white. I'm just going to go right around the windows here. Now you just can do like little finishing touches on here. So just for this first one, I'm just keeping it simple. So adorable. This is what I love to do though as a kid. It was coloring in. I'm going to go back and use the pale green and do just these little leaves right here. I could be like hours just in my room coloring. Even when we were at the dentist or the doctor's office, they had coloring books and crayons there. Probably to relieve the kid's stress of seeing the doctor, right? <laughs> I don't know if anyone remembers that. I don't even know if they do that now, but I remember that as a kid. See how that's coming along. Okay, and look at that. It didn't take much to do that. I sat down, I turned on my camera and videotaped it, and I just said, you know what, I'm going to just share and sit down with some of my crafty friends. You might say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and color along with Tracy as well. Now I'm just kind of going around this. I think that's it. Okay. So that's it. Look how adorable that looks. And while I'm looking up at the camera, <laughs> looking at my screen, I can see that there's some spots that I just want to go over again. Let's see. Look right around here, at the door. Make it a little bit darker. Right around the edge here. Right around here. I'll make these darker so they stand out. Okay, and we're all done. So this was our first session. Look how adorable that looks. So I may end up cutting it out. I don't know, but now I have one image colored and ready to go on a card but the first thing was to color it in so i hope you enjoyed this first session of our color therapy i'm hoping that you'll join me in this never-ending series because i'm just going to do it all the time okay <laughs> and um hopefully this gave you some inspiration to get out your images 
any of the stamp images you have, digital images, if you have a coloring book, whatever it is, you don't have to color the whole image if you don't want to, or the whole page of the coloring book. Just color a small portion of it. But at least you gave yourself some time to sit down, take a deep breath, and just enjoy the process. So thank you for tuning in. I'll put the, the link to the stamp set that I used today below, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.